There's no shortage of brilliant places to fly, but some areas present different challenges and occasionally things can go wrong, especially if you're flying in windy conditions. These days, most consumer drones have pretty intelligent return to home features that make it fairly hard to lose them. But they're not infallible, and sometimes you might find your drone refusing to come back or worse, being blown away. But not only are there things you can do to retake control of the situation, with a little knowledge you can usually avoid it happening in the first place, and that is what I am talking about today. A hunting we will come. In and I play with drones and despite many years of flying dozens of different drones I've only ever had one genuine flyaway where I lost my drone and that was way way back when I first started flying and when I didn't know a fraction of what I know now. So to keep things quick this video is going to be in three parts today. Uh, one, how to avoid a flyaway in the first place. Uh, two, what to do if you have lost your control and things are going wrong in flight. And three, how to find your drone if it's gone and you have no idea what happened to it. So part one, don't lose it in the first place. Defo, the easiest route, forewarned is forearmed. So some basic rules to stop things going wrong in the first place. One, Battery. Sounds obvious, but half-charged batteries mean less time to correct things that are going wrong. And worse, some models have slightly lower power as the battery depletes, so the drone can't fly as fast as it otherwise would. So, fully charged on takeoff, and way more cautious if you're only half-charged. Two, signal and GPS. If your drone doesn't have good GPS lock, it won't know where it is and it can't counter the effects of the wind. Uh, flying near tall buildings, trees, cliffs, that can all cause poor GPS satellite lock as the signals get blocked or they bounce off the surroundings. So have a decent number of satellites before taking off and listen for that home point has been updated message when you take off. And watch out for trees blocking the signal after takeoff. If the signal indicator starts going orange, rise up higher and get it back closer to get the signal strength back. I'll come back to what to do in a total loss of signal situation, but before that, the third big thing is strong wind. Now, this is easily the most common reason for losing a drone, especially small models like the original Mini 1, uh, the Neo, any a uh, model that's got built-in prop guards, so it includes the DJI Flip as well. Basically, a prop guard will often act as a sail and make the drone more vulnerable to being blown away by the wind. That said, even the Mini 4 Pro can meet its match sometimes up in the mountains. But there are a few things to keep in mind with windy conditions. One, the golden rule. Always fly out into the wind so you can fly back with the wind. It's really simple, basic rule that I learned the hard way a long time ago, and I've mentioned it many times, but if you are fighting a strong wind when you first take off, at least the drone will blow backwards towards you if it gets overwhelmed. It is absolutely no good finding out that the wind is too strong only when you actually turn around and try and bring it home. So always fly out into wind, fly back with wind. Our second point, winds are often more erratic and have stronger gusts around the tops of hills, uh, ridges, cliffs or tall buildings. Be aware where it might blow away and give yourself a lot more space around the drone because the drone will be moving around a bit and you do not want it hitting anything. Uh, three, uh, similarly, winds are usually way, way stronger up high. Um, they're generally a lot stronger, even if you're about 30 meters, 100, 100 feet up, the wind can be at least twice as strong as it feels on the ground. So flying at any altitude higher than about 50 meters or 150 feet is where things can start going wrong. With both of these last points in mind though, before you even take off, have a look around you and think, where could you retrieve your drone if you had to land remotely? Are you flying out over water with the wind blowing out over to water? Or are you flying out over land that's inaccessible? If you can't land remotely, then that is a much higher risk as well and you need to keep that in mind. So that's how to avoid trouble in the first place, but sometimes things still go wrong in flight. And if they do, you need to keep a cool head and not panic. There are generally two different scenarios for losing control in flight. The first is signal loss from the remote control. 
Now, this sometimes happens if there are lots of trees nearby or if you're flying around the back of a large building or even a hill and the signal between you and the drone gets blocked. Now, this will usually rectify itself automatically as most DJI drones will automatically stop if they lose signal and they'll either work out an intelligent return to home route back to the takeoff point or alternatively, they will simply reverse their flight for around 50 meters or 150 feet until signal is restored. Either method usually works very well at restoring signal back for you. So as long as you haven't changed the default return to home options in the main settings, it will normally re-establish signal and you'll have no problem. Now, far more rarely, your drone may display the no positioning or ATI error message. Now, this can happen when your drone is affected by strong interference or it loses its GPS lock. Either way, if you are not expecting it, ATI is a real bad situation to find yourself in as the drone will suddenly start drifting with the lightest of winds and you're going to really struggle to keep it in the position you want it to or fly in the direction that you want it to go in. So if an ADI message flashes up, you really do have two options, rise up or land. If you can land easily and safely, then that's absolutely the best option. But if you're in difficult surroundings, like, I don't know, uh, flying over a stream, waterfall, if you've got cliffs around your trees, then landing may not be an option. So in that case, rising up may well also fix that as well, because not only will you at least be getting higher than any of your surrounding obstacles, but also the GPS signal should re-establish itself once you're up and clear of the surroundings. There's no doubt ADI situations are quite rare. I think this has only happened to me once or twice in over five years of flying. But if it does, then yeah, it's a real shock. Um, land or rise up to get your GPS lock back and do expect the drone to be drifting whichever way the wind is blowing. But on the other hand, having your drone drift away due to very strong wind is a much more likely scenario. Sometimes the wind picks up unexpectedly or you just find your drone is not responding or going in the direction you're trying to make it go. First off, check if it really is drifting. Let go of the sticks and let it come to a stop. Place the camera facing down and watch the ground. Keep an eye on those distance measurements in the bottom left of your screen and see if they are changing despite letting go of the sticks. Keep cool head and don't necessarily hit the automatic return to home in the first instance because return to home will often make the drone go up higher to its preset return to home altitude where the wind will be even stronger. And also don't forget that return to home normally drops the drone back into normal mode uh, if you've been flying in sports mode because return to home makes use of obstacle avoidance. And in reality, if you're struggling with strong wind, keeping it in or flipping it into sport mode may well be all that's needed to overcome the wind and get it back. So, You've got a drifting drone, turn the drone back facing towards you so that that little yellow H on the screen is at the top of the screen. Make sure you're in sport mode and just fly forward. Keep in mind though that if you took off in sport mode with the little control switch on the remote left in sport mode from the previous flight, you will probably not be in sport mode at all. DJI drones revert to normal mode at takeoff regardless of the switch position. So if in doubt, switch it quickly back into normal mode for a second and then switch it back into sport mode and then carry on trying to fly. And at the same time, if you're trying to fly back towards you, slowly descend as well. Now I've done wind tests and I have found that the drone's very best maneuver for fighting strong wind is to be in sport mode, flying forwards and slowly descending. That overcomes most wind issues. And of course, once you get lower as well, of course, the wind is probably not gonna be anywhere near as strong, which will also make things much, much easier for you. So remember, if it's drifting, sport mode, face home, so you're flying forwards, and descend. Get low down, and you will almost always win. If you are still struggling to fight a direct oncoming wind, then you can also try flying at an angle, going uh, left and right, zigzagging, a bit like uh, the way a yacht tacks. Uh, that way you're not gonna be flying directly into the wind, but you will hopefully be getting closer to you. And hopefully that will always get it back for you. But if it is still blowing away despite all those tricks, then you do need to land remotely. Simple as that. Because the very worst thing that can happen is you let it continue blowing away and getting further away until you actually lose signal. 
Once you've lost signal completely, your controller will not have any idea where the drone is and you will not get it back. So if it's still getting further away from you or your battery warning is now bleeping and kicking in, then just land. Swing the camera down so you can see the ground below, push a stick down and just keep it down until it has actually landed and all motion has stopped hopefully at the location where you can retrieve it. And that will bring us on to the last part of this video, using the Find My Drone function, which you may not even be aware of, but is a simple, brilliant function on your remote or in the Fly app on your phone to help take you straight back to the last known spot that your drone was in. And even better, it still works hours or even days after the event. Either go to the three dots top right in camera view and scroll down the safety tab to the Find My Drone button. Alternatively, if you are not connected to the drone anymore, just go into Profile across to Find My Drone. Both ways take you to the same app and it will open up a map and show you a line leading to the exact location of your drone's last location. If you connect your RC remote to your phone's Wi-Fi hotspot, then it can download and make use of satellite uh, maps and Changing the map layers to satellite is way, way, way better for locating a drone because you can then make use of visual landmarks like trees, rocks, buildings, cliffs, or whatever, and really, really does help for you to locate where, where the precise spot is. Best of all, if you tap that little tile that's floating near the drone's location, it will even show you the drone's last 20 seconds or so of landing, which it films automatically, showing you the exact location that it went down in. And if that wasn't enough, when you're close to the drone, you can tap the flash and beep button to make it start bleeping and it'll lead you right up to it if it's in long grass, which again, really, really useful. The Find My Drone function is a great function, but it only works if the drone was still in contact with the remote when it landed. And that is why it's so important to do a remote landing if your drone is drifting away, because it's crucial you don't lose signal before it lands. So. There we go. Uh, easy when you know, isn't it? But pretty crap if it happens and you don't know this stuff. Just remember, there are three main rules. One, do not push the battery. Uh, two, fly out into the wind, fly back with the wind. And three, if it is really going tits up, just land before you lose it. Then use the Find My Drone function to live to fly another day. Hopefully all simple stuff that will help you avoid losing your pride and joy. Um, Feel free to recount any adventures and new misses you've had in the comments below, which would make good reading for me. Um, if this video has helped you in any way, obviously give it a little thumbs up. If it's actually helped you get a lost drone back, then feel free to click the buy me a coffee or buy me a beer link below as well. But look, either way, all good stuff, isn't it? Till next time, have fun, happy flying.